Good morning everyone, it's Caroline from Caroline Little Nursery. I'm here today to just show you how I start my, um, actually the second step of uh, making my reborn dolls. The first step is to actually wash the kit really well with uh, some dishwasher soap and some water. Uh, just scrub it, make sure everything is off the feet, wipe it down, wash it down, make sure everything's clean. I had it dry for a few days now and um, I just went over it with um, a thicker brush so we can make sure there's no, um, what you might call it, uh, dust or anything that's on it. So the first step I do is I already have my things pre-mixed. So for me this is the Flesh 08 and it's mixed with the uh, Odalis solvent which I keep a little small bottle. But I use the uh, Museum Odorless Solvent, which I buy from a store here close by where I live. Um, it's a paint store um, for, for, for artists, so I go there and pick that up, and it's close by, and if I run out of something, I just run over there. So right now, I'm just going to mix what I have in my little container here. So I'm going to mix that up. Now, it's been here, um, the last doll I made was probably about a week ago. So I'm going to add some more odorless solvent to this. So this is the Flesh 08. And it's probably about two of the uh, of this brush of the Flesh 08. And then I add the odorless solvent, which you can see is quite a bit, uh, more than the Flesh 08. I want it to be really thin and then I put in some of the Genesis here the matte varnish and that's how I get it to stay on to the doll because I have a lot of layers I have to put on so I add the Genesis matte varnish and I probably add about that much there as you can see it's quite a bit but for this pot um, this is what I'm going to be putting in here and I just want to make sure I mix it properly So I'm going to just keep mixing it until it's all mixed up really nicely. I don't want any bumps or anything in there. And the kit I'm working on is the uh, Real Born Aria kit. So I'm just going to show you on the leg what I do. Start with the leg then I'll finish off the rest of the body um, afterwards. I think it looks pretty good now. I'm just testing it here. Yep, it looks really good. So first thing I do is I take my sponge and I take the edges off the sponge so I don't get a square on the doll. And then I just apply it. And I stamp it just to make sure I don't have too much on there. And I just pounce it on. And you can see the, sh I don't know if you can see the shine there. So I punk that on. I have to get this into all the creases. So I just continue to do that. Need to get some more on there. And I continue to punk this on all over the doll. I'm holding it at the end here where the doll attaches to the body. I do the bottom as well of the leg. She's a small kit, so it won't take too long. But I just want to make sure I get everywhere and I don't miss a spot. And the next thing is you want to make sure that you get inside all the toes here and you get the skin color in between everywhere and all the creases so I'm just gonna 
go with this brush here, which is a smaller brush. Lightly pick up some of the flesh weight, and I'm going to apply it between the toes. And at the back of the toes. Sometimes you'll find that it starts to collect. So I'm going to have to pounce that away. Or well, I can just go like this with my brush. And I get rid of the, any excess that I have. And I do that over here as well. So I'm looking for any excess in the creases on the toes. And I make sure I get the top of the toes as well here with the flesh. So everything is nice. And then I go back in with my, um, and do everything over once more. Just pouncing away again. I want to make sure again, like I don't miss anything. Top of the toes. Front. I noticed that there is a little piece of dust here, so I'm going to get that out with this little brush as well. There it goes. And just re over that. Make sure I get the dust out. Get some more. And I'm going to go in the back of the leg here, in the crease of the leg at the back. And I don't want it to get inside the creases there, so I'm going to bounce that away now. I don't want it to pool back there, so I continue to pounce. And I'm using the um, smaller part now. Make sure that's all gone. Okay, looks pretty good. Make sure over here is okay. Yeah, so everything looks good. You can see the nice sheen on the doll right now. So I'm going to just let that dry. And then I'm going to put it in the oven, 265 for 8 minutes. I think I've gotten everywhere. Oh, let me just see right there. I just want to make sure it's everywhere. Just take your time, make sure you don't miss a spot. Okay, so that's all I do, and now I'll just wait and uh, make. I put this to dry, and then after once I see it's dried, then I'll put it in the oven for eight minutes at 265 degrees. I use a convection oven, um, not my oven I use for my food, but I have a separate one here that I use just for reborning. So that's going to go in the oven right now. Okay, um, once it's dried. So that's all I do. So anyway, I wanted to tell you guys if you can um, please once again, please like, subscribe and hit that uh, bell so you get all my notifications. Um, once I get to steps two, I will be doing another one and I'll let you guys know when that is. Okay. Thank you and you guys have a great day. Bye bye.